let's do a quick and easy kind of glam makeup look um so i already prepped my skin so um i'm gonna start off with some primer look at this this is almost done i absolutely love this primer it's my go-to that i've been using for like a few weeks now but the thing with primer right i don't put it all over my face i put it i put it in the areas that i want the makeup to stick with because i feel like the other areas makeup is always there and it keeps there but the other areas not so much so i did some primer and i know a lot of people don't use a lot of foundation but for me i'm gonna put foundation all over my face I have this sample size that I got from, um, I think Ulta. It's the Fenty um, concealer. I forgot which one it is, but I wanted to to use that one. Favorite makeup um, thingy that I've discovered lately is the use of brushes like this has changed my makeup game recently which is like so crazy to me because I, I just thought that the sponge absorb it better and the sponge was better but now i realize that the brush give you a more evenly spread less product and then you can just use a sponge to like set everything in so let's speed this up <music> Conceal. Um, I'm gonna be using two concealers the e.l.f. concealer and the pro um, LA pro concealer for LA for LA girl to be such a good product they make this is the best thing that ever come about and I know that there's probably better concealers out there um, there's probably better concealers out there but I feel like this is it has helped me and I'm just gonna stick beside her. Like if I'm ever anywhere and I'm, I'm I don't have all my makeup and I need to have some makeup look done, I know that I can find the LA girl. Anywhere. So for that I'm grateful. I'm going to like conceal. I feel like brushes have been the thing lately like it's been so um convenient like I absolutely love having um using a brush like I really do the only difference I've noticed between using a brush and a sponge my hand be tired like my hand be literally getting um tired just from using it because it's a lot of blending because even though you're using brush you have to blend a lot so you don't have to so it gets all the way in there i like to use my concealer to um to kind of like contour my face more than a bronzer because i don't know why but i feel like i haven't had any bronzer that give me the look that i'm going for I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna spray it with some setting powder because beauty blenders are better used when they're wet. So I'm just gonna set the bottom right here, right over here. I'm just gonna basically just go over the concealer portion and just gonna like help set everything in place. Look at my base. Look at this. Everything just melt in my skin. Like you can't even tell I'm wearing makeup right now. Like I don't care what you say. You can't tell me. I feel like everything just looks really good. I think my base base makeup is really pretty to me. And I'm gonna dot it on my eye or wherever I put concealer on. I'm gonna dot it basically. You wanna use a, one of the main things that I found with makeup is use a lot. 
like as long as you're blending it out just use a lot so while this stays on my face for a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows I want to get them um, microbladed or not microbladed because I don't want the tattoo. I was going to get like, I was going to dye my eyebrows basically to give it like a look, darker look. Still thinking about it, but I might end up doing it. Um, Now I'm going to get like a powder puff actually because I can't find a brush that I use. I'm just going to like set it in. Like, it is so clean, so fresh, so pretty. Yes, as I see, it's so pretty. So, now, now that is that is done, I'm going to go on and do my eyes now. So, we're going for, like, a soft, since we're going for, like, a soft, like, so, subtle glam look, we're going to need, like, a brown, so, I think brown, burgundy, um like a lightish um but most of dark colors like okay black brown and burgundy i feel like are the colors that gives especially dark skin it pops out on you more so we're gonna go with those colors so i'm using this um palette by revolution um makeup my husband got it for me and i love this palette like literally as all the colors that feel look good on dark skin so i'm gonna start off first with this flow color i don't know if you guys can see it Look, this one right here and i'm gray color just to kind of like blend everything like on the top part in together now that we have that established we're gonna add a little bit of shimmer i like to use my finger because that way i don't have to add too much and it just looks very subtle have those down and ready now we are gonna do we're gonna highlight the bottom with black mm -hmm. yeah see that i think that was better so now that we are finished with that i'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera because i really suck at doing them i feel like i had to physically fight to get my lashes on today but look at this and i still feel like they're not on right maybe do a nude look so i've been trying to get into the, like the new look but honestly i cannot find any liner that's gonna let me lace. so i went to the beauty supply store and i found this one by nk makeup it's a state original liner, right? In a shade black, black coffee. And I like it because let me just show you. Y'all see how you can see that? But it still looks like new, like brown and not black liner. NYX Butter Glass in the shade Fudge Me. This is the best one for my skin tone. So if you have skin tone like mine, this will be perfect. Now 
I'm gonna set my face with this. I'm gonna add it over. I'm gonna get this and then pat any excess oil. I forgot to add blush. So I'm gonna use this to add my blush to it. I don't really wanna add too much, so I'm just gonna use the um like this little one right here. And there you have it. Here is the final look. Subtle softish glam makeup with a nude lip I just want to thank you guys for watching today's video if you like this look don't forget to like and subscribe and comment if you like the nude lip or if you want me to show you send you the exact um name of anything that i mentioned in this video and i'll send it to you um so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye